What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new live attack video. This is number three. Uh, again, I know you guys have been asking for it and had pretty good feedback from the last one we did. So uh, we're going to be doing another live attack and I have a very special attack for you guys. Going to be going old school. Uh, but before we get into that, just wanted to let you guys know how the war is going. Click on war details. Right now we are 11 for 20. But as far as our talent lines, we do have a couple uh, 10 v 11 attempts. So we're actually our percentage is much higher than that. Uh, we have cleared a lot of their nines, just a few left. And we're only about three hours, just a little over three hours into war. Uh, I know these guys, uh, Nottingham. They are from Japan, so they're a little slower out of the gate uh, just because the time difference, a 12-hour or 11-hour time difference, something like that. But our guy, our Town Hall 9s really brought it, uh, came out firing when this war started. I do have one three-star wrapped up. So this attack, uh, hopefully this will be the six-pack right here. Uh, we're going to be hitting this base, number 16. Go ahead and check out the scout. And one thing I will say, Nottingham's town hall lines, I don't know if they all, uh, from the other wars, if they all kind of look like this, but definitely an older base design uh, is from what I've seen. Uh, it's, you know, especially with these wide compartments, uh, very open compartments, you know, we're very used to seeing, you know, crazy looking town hall lines, you know, where you have 15 compartments in a base. This one is not the case. So, on an old school base, what we want to do is something very special here on the channel today, and that is use an old school attack. What attack are we going to be using? None other than HGHB, guys. You see it right there. We got 12 giants, uh, 5 wizards, 4 healers. We got 12 hogs, 2 baby dragons in the camp to help with the funnel, 2 rage, 2 heal, and obviously bowlers going to be coming out of the CC. So we're going to come right at the queen. Uh, in this base right here. So I'm gonna get a baby drag. If you look at the ranges archer tower He should be able to take out both of these buildings uh, Before the archer tower even targets, but before we even get that far. I'm gonna drop my giants down uh, Right here. They'll be targeting the archer tower and the cannon But the giants should be out of range of the enemy AQ, which is huge Because uh, once the funnel set everything's gonna come in and take her out before she starts, you know three shotting all the giants uh, And then we're gonna get a baby drag right here on the gold storage and unless there's teslas by this mortar there's really nothing that can kill the baby i mean this archer tower we're getting some shots but we should get decent value from a baby dragon over there and if there are i'm hoping there's actually teslas in the core because if there are teslas in the core uh the entire kill squad should get right uh, into the core of this base. We'll go ahead and rage everything up. Uh, we'll have one rage coming in, a second rage in the core somewhere. We'll let it work a little bit and then figure out our hog deployment kind of on the fly. Uh, hopefully the king will be dead before we start deploying any of our hogs. And I do have a few wizards to use for cleanup. And we'll definitely go ahead and see how this goes. Doing HGHB, guys. Uh, it's been a really long time uh, since I have done this attack. And more or less, well, actually, let me go ahead and check the CC range. Okay, so that cannon will go down before the CC, uh, the enemy CC is even engaged. So we'll go ahead and knock this out. All right, we are live. I'm going to go ahead and get baby drag right there. Go ahead and get that baby drag right there. That's just going to work a little bit. We definitely want to get this funnel nice and set. Get the giants down. Followed up by the healers. Go ahead and get the queen. All right, got to get those giants through that wall. All right, they're going to get through that wall right there. They go. Here comes the enemy CC. Just a couple, just a witch and a couple valks. Not a big deal. Rage that up. All right, so far so good. All right. Oh, they're all in the core too. Look, that baby drag's still working. He was even under rage. That was very, very nice. All right, so they're gonna get right into this core. That is beautiful. All right, we'll go ahead and get our next rage. Let's see here. 
and they're gonna go right for the right for the uh, all right. that's all distracted look we're doing all the healers are on the queen and kind of let this work I guess we can get some hogs down get some right there get those wizards down pop king get those hogs right there double giant bomb whoops all right let's see this is still looking wrecked i think we're gonna swag are we gonna swag this heel guys go ahead and get some archers there oh look at the troll look at the troll wow four of them all right this is okay we still got our queen out we still got a minute Still got a minute to go. All right, here come the giants, and we got a couple of hogs too. Uh, we got 50 seconds, and I still have a heal. Who puts four troll Teslas in a corner? I guess on a fresh hit. Yeah, I'm still going to swag it. We should be okay. We still have the queen ability. Yeah, we're just going to let this work. All right, heal going on the CC. Heal going on the CC just because they used four troll teslas i mean really we're gonna swag the queen ability as well there it is guys hghb wrapping it up with the three star not only that but also getting the six pack guys looking really really good i cannot believe uh, and i wasn't even really looking for teslas and then i noticed at the very second just wanted to check the corners for huts anything like that checking down the art or you know just checking where i should put the archers down and lo and behold they have four troll teslas right there uh between hidden in all the flags again on a fresh hit you just don't know we'll go ahead and check out the replay one thing uh that was absolutely beautiful was the opener uh having the giant's path right to the core as we check out this replay so we got all the healers down. Baby dragon, getting good value from the baby dragons, especially this one. I believe this baby dragon ends up in a rage somehow. I uh, don't even know how that happened. It went nice and patient, made sure the wall broke this time uh, so the bowlers wouldn't walk. That was absolutely huge. Uh, go ahead and poison the witch. And we got a couple of Valks also coming out of that CC. Uh, so they didn't really do too much damage. Uh, the Valks did get a few swings on the Giants, went ahead and not only dropped the Rage on them, but more importantly, getting the Rage on the healers to bring their health back up as they didn't have Giants survive throughout the entire raid, which was huge. Uh, nice bowler skips over there. Notice I have a Wizard already funneling some of that trash on the sides. Again, keeping that trash funnel on the sides keeps all your troops in the core. They're not going to wander all sorts of crazy on you. So, of course, all four of the healers peel off onto the Queen, which wasn't horrible uh because i still had king ability and all the bowlers over here so definitely had a decent split right there um maybe could have waited on the hogs a little bit uh to let that queen beat through the wall because she would take out that expo with no other defenses really firing her so maybe i dropped the hogs a little too soon uh one other thing <laughs> that you don't want to get a time fail is right when you deploy your hogs pretty much in any attack getting the cleanup on the other side as i have those two wizards right there uh right where the hogs started on the attack and about right here is where we noticed uh the troll teslas luckily i didn't have to burn that heel uh just in case if there are any other double giant bombs any bombs anywhere uh but we were able to survive. Bowler's obviously going to get roasted on the farm. We'll go ahead and times two this. We know how this is going to end. And those are the same clean it wizards getting rid of all that trash. Once the last uh, building went down on the outside, everything heads right for the Tesla farm. There goes our nice swag uh, right on the CC. And we have more than enough troops uh, to take out that Tesla farm being the last thing to go down. Uh, so that was the attack, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we'll see. Do we have any other lives? No, we don't. I know in the last live attack video, uh, we did have a little bonus footage uh, grabbing another live attack. But uh, that was live attack number three. Again, looking very well. Uh, 12 for 21 right now, uh, but it's more like 12 for 18, 12 for 17, something like that as far as 9v9 goes. Like I said, we do have a few uh, 10v11 attempts. 
But that's going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed uh, this live attack video. If you did, um, make sure you guys uh, like the video if you like it. Leave any comments or suggestions down in the comment section below. As most of you know watching this, uh, I'm very good about checking the comments and uh, getting back to you guys. So keep those comments coming. Like, comment. Oh, is this on our side? Nope, that's on the other side. Okay, we're not going to watch that. Um, if you guys uh, are new to the channel, I want to welcome you. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And that's pretty much going to do it for this live attack video. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS. And I'll see you in the very next video.